Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're, I'm going to do a hair tutorial on my hair. Let's get into it. Now, there are a lot of names for the haircut I have right now. But I like to call it the Thought Boy Cut. Not saying I'm a thought, but it's called a Thought Boy Cut. You feel me? As you can see, I really need a haircut. I haven't got one in a while, but that's besides the point. Let's get into the video. First and foremost, to start off this hair, you're going to need to get in the shower and wash your hair. But since I already did that, I'm not going to do it. Technically, you don't have to wash your hair, but it's, just, it's a good suggestion to do so. I wash my hair before I do this. Second thing, you're going to want to pick out your hair. But I'm not going to do that because it hurts. So I'm just going to wet up, wet my hair, and show you the rest of the process. Also, what you're going to need is some Cantu leave-in conditioner. This is that good stuff, I'm telling you. I, it's good for your hair. I, boy. You can get this hairstyle using so many different things. I personally use a sponge. You see, I'm, I have big holes. You can use small holes. Any size holes you prefer to get your hair the way you want it. I use a sponge. Sometimes I use a t-shirt, you know, 100% cotton t-shirt. Like one of these. Or you can do that towel rub technique. Just put on your hair and just rub it around like that. Or you can use a brush. I prefer a medium brush. What I mean by medium brush is, it's a brush that's not too hard and not too soft. It's right there in the middle. Keyword, medium brush. Okay, well, let's get this hair tutorial started. <laughs> First, you're going to want to wet your hair. But not too much. I got it nice and wet, wet. Got it nice and wet, wet. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to add the leave. Next, you're going to want to add the leave-in conditioner by Cantu. I really recommend this product. It works really good with my hair. I really use about like that much. Not that much. Because my hair is kind of thicker. So just use as much as you think that you're going to need. And just apply it all in your hair. And don't worry about like. And don't worry about getting it like. Don't worry about like the little white spots that are like left behind. Because those will come out once you start twisting it. Okay. Once you got your hair like this, you gotta wipe off your hands, you feel me? Once you got your hair all nice and covered with the leave in conditioner. What you want to do now is you either grab your sponge, brush, towel, shirt, anything you use. But today, I'm going to use the sponge. And just go in a circular motion all around your head. Don't change up which way you're going. If you're going right handed, stick with right hand around your whole head. You don't want to switch it up. You can switch it up. But it won't look as good. So you to stick with one motion all around your head. And there's no need to rush through this process. It's like a patient process. There's no need to rush. And 
And once you got twisted to where you want it, just fix it up. So you're liking. And yeah, that's basically how you get the thought with it. Well, you can w wiggle it around and stuff. You can wiggle it around. Stuff like that. That's how you get the thought boy cut. Really nothing to it. It's really, really easy. All you gotta do is get in the shower, wash your hair, put in some leave-in conditioner. See, I got some right there. Get a sponge, brush, towel, shirt. Doesn't matter. And just go on the circle wash your hair. I went counterclockwise. Whatever hand you use, use that hand. So yeah. To maintain this look, get you some hair ties. You can either get these skinny ones, which I recommend, or these thick ones, if you're in that type of mood. And put your hair up at night, like put them in bunches. If your hair isn't as thick as mine, you can just put them in bunches, which I'm gonna do since I haven't done this in a while. So I'm gonna put my hair in bunches. Basically, all you do is get like a couple strands of hair. Like, only get the ones nearby though, so it doesn't make much of a trouble. And yes, I dyed my tips dark blonde, if y'all couldn't tell. And yes, I'm recording on my iPhone, so if the quality or the audio is kind of bad, that's why I recorded on my iPhone 6. All you do is get your hair tied, twist it. Twist it how many times you want it for you. I usually do like two or three. And then boom, like that. You can go to sleep just like this. Or wear it like this for the entire day. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair, my whole head like this, and I'll be back with you. Okay, we're back, and I'm done putting my hair up. I'll call these big boy nugs for your hair. Do a little 360. Well, this is how you maintain your hair at night. You put this in your hair, go to sleep, wake up, take them out, fix up your hair, twist up your hair in the morning with whatever you want to use, shake it around a little bit, put some leave-in conditioner in it, and boom, there it is. It's really not that hard of a process. Just do this every day. And you'll be fine. Oh yeah, also if you keep doing this, like you start to get free form hair, right? Free form dreads. That's when like your hair just like locks up a little bit. Just look it up, just look it up. Oh yeah, when your hair is like this, you can either lay down straight like this or put like a do-rag over it or whatever your choice is. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to read all of them. So let's try to get this video up to like 10 likes. 10 likes. I only got like 29 subscribers and I'm proud of y'all for sticking through. But like 10 likes. Please. Alright, thank you. Peace.